With a few clever modifications, a regular bike and some buckets can actually become an amphibious vehicle. To prove it, Jamie decided to build his own version, but instead of using simple buckets, he went with something that offered better buoyancy, metal floats. Using water pressure, he shaped the metal into unusual but sturdy forms, then trimmed off the excess and welded the halves together into a streamlined float. Each one could provide up to 110 pounds of lift. Next, he mounted the floats onto the bike using adjustable brackets. Just like that, the amphibious bicycle was born. But the big question was, which design works best? To find out, they had to race. On land, both bikes performed pretty much the same. But in the water, it came down to speed and stability. At the start of the race, Adam was quickest to switch into water mode. But that early lead didn't last long. Jamie's bike quickly pulled ahead thanks to his super efficient propeller design. It generated maximum thrust with minimal effort, allowing him to glide across the water and beat Adam to the finish line. Even though Adam lost the race, they proved that with a few smart tweaks, a regular bike can absolutely double as an amphibious commuter.